Yo Skiproskis, this is iCloud, and uh, also known as No Sun, and I'm back uh, with some more Plants vs. Zombies. The No Sun Challenge Run. Greetings, neighbor. The name's Crazy Dave, but you can just call me Crazy Dave. Listen, I got a surprise for you. But first, I'll need you to clear your lawn. Uh, something about the shovel. Let the digging commence! Yeah, the dog on mouse likes to double click when I only single click. Okay, goody. Now for the surprise. We're going bowling! Here, take this walnut! Oh, that's cute! Why'd I put a walnut in your hand? Because I'm crazy! Now go, owe me a winner! <laughs> yeah, I ended a little prematurely because it's time for the awesome minigame thing. I like to let a bunch of zombies uh, build up before I start bouncing nuts off of them because then you get a lot more of them with the rebounds. But it seems like sometimes it's meant to rebound into them, but then sometimes it misses, but oh well. Here comes some more. Get him, get him, get him. Ah. Well, baby. When uh, periodically, uh, when you've beaten a certain amount of levels in this game, they have these mini games uh, where you get to do all kinds of silly, fun stuff fight the zombies in a more unconventional manner. It's pretty cool. Later on uh, in zombie bowling, you get to actually earn coins from the numbers of rebounds that you get. So that's a nice thing. I'm saving the red ones because they're explodo nuts. Saving them for an emergency, basically. <laughs> Uh, I just got back from physical therapy, so I'm kind of tired. Uh, uh, I've been having a lot of mice in my room. Uh, they've been—they've decided to live in my closet. Uh, no joy. Uh, but. At one point, I managed to actually catch one alive. I uh, was trying to fall asleep, and I heard a rustling in a bag next to my bed. I had a trash bag next to my bed. Like, not a conventional trash bag, it was like a Walmart bag, plastic bag. And there I could hear rustling in the bag, so I really quickly like grabbed the bag and uh, uh, closed it up, and sure enough, there's a little mousy inside. I could see his little tail and little feet running around in the bottom of the bag. So I went ahead and put it outside and uh, uh, just let it go. Let it go! Let it go! <laughs> it was, uh, you know, it's like, I felt good for being able to catch it alive and not have to hurt it and stuff. Uh, that way, but I could still get it out of my room. I haven't had the same luck with other mice, though. I've had to start catching them. Uh, ooh, did you see that? There was a new zombie. Oh, oh, almost built a sunflower. No, no, no. No, no, no. Just gotta depend on the ones that come from the sky. But yeah, there's a new zombie that jumps over things. Uh, now we're gonna be using both the walnuts and the potato mines against him. Potato mines take a while to charge up, uh, like once you bury them. It takes them a while to actually grow. Uh, and they can explode zombies that touch them, but... Uh, they can also be useful to 
let the uh, vaulting zombies vault over them. I just love this music so much. Sorry for singing along with it so much. Gonna wait a little while. This always starts off a little bit slow, but we'll get it. Yeah. Just let him shamble and shuffle along for a little while. Probably till about here. That way I can get a little more sunshine in my life. Okay. Went ahead and placed it now so that I could start working on this lane next. Got plenty of time right now, though. I need to stop that. <laughs> it's it's just such catchy music, though. It's like all these zombies, they are all just businessmen, aren't they? <laughs> oh, eventually we'll get a whole lot more dressings and professions coming up. Like we'll see with the vaulting zombies. Oh, it's still bothering me about that. Goodness. I know, I know, but I'm a glutton for punishment! <laughs> but yeah, like I was saying, I've had to unfortunately use conventional mouse traps on the rest of the mice in my room because there's still lots of them in there and they're starting to tear up my uh... oh this guy I'm gonna place one of these because they're cheaper because once they vault then they that slows them down and that'll give me more time to shoot them but this will be pretty close I think What sucks is that in, like, the 90s, there used to be a lot of stores that sold live mouse traps. They were like these clear plastic boxes, and, they, and you could put your bait in there, and then they'd set off the door, and it would close, and you'd catch the mouse uh, live and well. I wish that they had more of those now, but I can't seem to find them anywhere. It's a real shame, because, like I said, I would love to just, you know be able to get rid of the mice without hurting or killing them. Ah, things were always so much better in the 80s and 90s. Back in the good old days. <laughs> it's like every generation in history always talks about the previous decades having been better than the ones that exist now. It's nothing new. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that everything is constantly getting worse. Because if you think about it, you know, we have advances in medicine. Woo! Spadow! Uh, we have all kinds of, uh, you know, people live longer than they used to. Uh, people can be more connected than they used to be. All kinds of good stuff. And really, we have it pretty good. All things considered, there's a lot of programs to help people, and it's not so bad. The Earth is not quite as bad as it could have been. We aren't all, you know, constantly killing each other, it's just a minority. It sucks, though, that there's still discrimination, there's still... Whoop, better slow these guys down. There's still, you know, killing and people being poopy to each other, but let's be optimistic here. Things aren't as bad as they could be, and I'm, I'm proud of humanity for taking general steps in the right directions and learning a little bit once in a while. Ooh, snow peas. I love snow peas. They're expensive though, but they're so useful. Shoots frozen peas that damage and slow the enemy. So they they help slow them down, which is great for the vaulting zombies if you don't can't place something in their way fast enough. You are my 
sunshine, my only sunshine. You give economy so I can plant. <laughs> Little more. One more sun. Give me one more sun. There we go. Up oh way. Uh, two of them in this lane. Little dicey, but we can handle it. Yeah, sometimes that happens. Sometimes, uh, Several zombies will be in one lane even at the start. That actually is a good thing. It gives me more time to wait with uh, fortifying the other lanes. So that's not necessarily a bad thing in this case. Further down the road, though, it can give you some problems. I think this instrument is an oboe. Am I right? Folks who are musically inclined? I kind of like them. They're, they sound like kind of a cross between a, a clarinet and a saxophone. I think my brother hates the sound of it, he said. <laughs> I love it, though. A big part of why in, in high school band I, I wanted to learn how to play the clarinet was partially because it was kind of related to the uh, uh, oboe. Oh boy, this is getting close here. This is getting close. Uh-oh, whew. Well, he took a bite out of my plant. Phew. See, sometimes it can get pretty close with those cone heads. But you ain't seen nothing yet. What sucks is that also the the biggest reason though that I chose a clarinet in high school band was because I was a dumb kid. <laughs> I mostly wanted it just so I could play this part in a Weenie the Pooh uh, episode thingy that Heffalumps and Woozles song uh, which I think was actually played by a bass or baritone clarinet actually instead of a regular one. Uh... I mean, I could do it an octave higher, sure, but I don't know why. I just, when trying to pick an instrument, I had a hard time picking, and, and just the stupidest little reason popped into my head when I had to make the final decision. And it's like, I couldn't quite hit the notes low enough to play that one anyway. I mean, it was an okay instrument, really. But it gets so little focus in the band. It's like the trumpets and flutes get all the glory. The clarinets, uh, trombones, uh, those two, I think, are the most ignored and underappreciated uh, background instruments of a band. Uh, so I felt kind of left out and uh, put that there for that guy. Uh, yeah, I felt kind of inferior once I learned band dynamics and realized that I would be way in the background and not hurt very much. Boom. Come on, come on, get this guy. Whoo, that was close. Uh, it doesn't insta-kill your plants when they chew on them. Each plant has a set amount of life, and uh, the more they're chewed on, the more they die, and they don't regenerate either. So you gotta watch out. And, oh boy, I hope it, I can get these two. I'm actually going to start placing these guys. 
I should have oh, I should have put it on this lane actually. Up, oh, I my mouse was right here. I was trying to place that here. Come on, bullcrap. Uh, what am I gonna? What special name am I gonna give bullcrap in, in Plants vs Zombies? I don't know. Plants vs crap. Crap versus bullskies? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think there's anything I can really think of for it. Uh, but it's gonna happen. It's 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 me. Therefore, it's going to happen. That's just the way of the world. Oh, what a world! And kaboom! Spadow! And it leaves like little French fries. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I am going to go ahead and use the shovel and dig that up. I hate to waste a plant, but it just didn't set down in the spot that I wanted to click on. I think this guy will get... yep, there we go. But yeah, these guys are a great way to level the playing field without having to set up stuff. Whoa, I, uh, I better actually put this... oh, aw, come on. That should have counted! Aww. Oh well. At least this guy, the snow pea, like I said, they are so good. It takes a while to afford them. Now I'm only at 125 sun, they're 175. But I'll be able to get more. Eventually. Once I have all the bases covered with that, then I should be okay for the rest of the round. Uh, we're getting close to the final flag, though. Oh, want to put it here, because we got two cone heads coming. Uh, one other thing about them is they kind of equalize the speed, too. As you'll see here, uh, when this guy uh, actually gets in close there, see, they're both going slow now. It kind of gets them... Uh, both zombies or several zombies in a group to group up and be going at about the same slow speed which can be useful when you're using area of effect uh, things like the cherry bombs or the uh, potato mines or some other area of effect weapons that they have um, later on they have like melon pulse and uh, it's great for that just gonna put a wall here because I don't think I was gonna get enough sun in time to afford the uh, snow pea up here. So we'll have to make do with what we've got. I'll go ahead and just put another pea shooter here. So it seems like in the later rounds you don't get sun as often. It doesn't come down at exactly set intervals. It kind of comes down when it feels like it, I guess. I've counted, and the time in between can vary. Oh, I love these guys! These are a plant with some personality. 